My mom has multiple sclerosis and we want to help. For the past two weekends, Ayana Partushma says two children have been selling lemonade on the front lawn of their home in Montreal's Roxborough on the West Island, raising money for Multiple Sclerosis Society of Canada. But things went sour when police stopped by responding to a noise complaint. Are you guys each other's best friends? Yes. Oh. We're sometimes besties, but sometimes we fight. Tough yeah. love. You know, it's tough love, yeah. Eight and 11-year-old Ariel and Ness are brothers, best friends, and lemonade stand partners. Initiating it themselves, Massa was filled with joy when her sons decided to raise money for MS research as she was diagnosed with an aggressive form of the disease two years ago. It's a disease that truly affects not only the person who gets the diagnosis, but everyone around them. Excited to share their kindness with the community, the kids sometimes used a megaphone to attract customers to their stand, also drawing the ire of one neighbor upset with the noise. Called my kids little mother effers and said that he was going to shut them down. I told him not very politely to get off my property. And he said he was going to call the police. SPVM officers responded to the call. Massa says the first officer aggressively told her that if she did not comply with the nuisance call, they would need to arrest her. When he noticed her filming, he took his name tag and raised it to Massa's face, who was at the top of her steps in her wheelchair. I then wanted to de-escalate the situation, so I asked for a supervisor. Um, a few minutes later, a supervisor did come, and I have to specify that this sergeant was a gentleman. They came to an agreement to use the megaphone only a few times per hour, the supervisor even buying lemonade before leaving. But about 30 minutes later, officers were back. One officer, same as the first encounter. Massa says she felt harassed. As a mother, it's heartbreaking to start with, to have your children witness something like this, when this is actually such a beautiful, beautiful story. In a statement to City News, the SPVM says that since July 23rd, 911 has received four complaints of excessive noise related to this lemonade stand due to the use of a megaphone. It was only for these complaints of excessive noise that police officers from Station 3 showed up on the scene on several occasions, adding that they had no intention to close the kiosk. We all remember, I remember having a lemonade stand. My four kids have all had a lemonade stand, so we have to look at, you know, how the children must feel. The, the fear they must have had because they're like, what did I do wrong here? I'm raising money for my mom. These pol police officers had no right to come to these children and create all of this drama in the neighborhood. I don't see anything that they were doing that was wrong. To date, the boys raised over $2,000 for the Multiple Sclerosis Society of Canada and will continue to do so. Massa asking the SPVM for a formal apology to her boys and a donation to the cause in honor of them. Come get to we all need to remember that these two little boys who are truly innocent and just wanted to do something for other people. It's no secret Massa is proud of her boys, but what is a secret? Their lemonade recipe. It's a secret. Yeah, it's a secret. We can't tell you. In Montreal, Pamela Pagano, City News. Ahead on City News.